Monday, Dr. Zen with Baycare Clinic is here to talk about oral cancer. Yes. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about what oral cancer is and just to give us some more information there. Well, oral cancer is any cancer that uh, arises from anywhere in the uh, oral cavity, mm -hmm. the mouth, under the tongue, the palate, and the upper part of the throat. Uh, one of the biggest uh, factors and the big issues is it is often diagnosed very late in stages. I, and I, we were talking about that before. Early detection and prevention is so important in this That's kind of key. cancer. Absolutely. So how do you know? Well, you know, with the symptoms and with regular examinations, okay. if you can catch it early, uh, mm -hmm. the success rate and the five-year survival rate can be as high as 80, 80 some percent. If it's late diagnosed, mm -hmm. then it can be as low as 26%. So that is the key. It's all about that, you know, yes. finding that early. So what are some of the risk factors? Who should we, who should really be focused in on this? Uh, some of the mainstay risk factors uh, people know is uh, tobacco use of any kind, yep. uh, alcohol, particularly if it's excessive. Now oh. those two factors together oh, will raise really? your incidence 15 times higher than one of those factors alone. So that combination is a bad combination. And to you have. always think about tobacco use for oral cancer, but now you're saying alcohol as well. Yes, especially wow. combining with the tobacco. Mm -hmm. And the newer research is showing a close third, and another area that's showing a lot of incidence is the human papillomavirus. Yeah. Uh, it's been seen to cause cervical cancer, mm -hmm. but now we also attribute it to many, many cases of oral cancer as well. Wow, really? I would have never known that. Okay, so what are some of the symptoms that we should be on the lookout for? Uh, symptoms that you want to look for is uh, unexplained bleeding, mm -hmm. sores, ulcerations, rough spots, even white and red patches, okay. particularly if these things aren't resolving in a normal fashion over two to three weeks. Uh, again, if it is something that's not resolving, then you should probably at least see somebody who has experience in that to give you a screening exam. So that's why it's so important to also, you know, be checking in your own mouth and yes. just be aware of what, what is going on in there too. Exactly. Okay, so what is treatment? If you are diagnosed with oral cancer, what's the treatment like? Uh, treatment, again, really depends on the stage okay. uh, at time of diagnosis. It generally will involve uh, many modalities such as surgical intervention, mm -hmm. uh, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy as okay. well. So, like you said, you know, I think the big thing to take away here is early detection. Absolutely. Catch this early. Absolutely. Another one is people that don't have teeth remaining at all. Mm -hmm. Assume that there's no reason to see yeah. their dentist anymore. Oh. But these are soft tissue lesions. Mm -hmm. And if nobody's looking at the soft tissue, mm -hmm. you're not going to find it early. Uh -huh. So they're in a high risk category as well. So they still need to see their dentist regularly. Still keep going to the doctor Absolutely. and ask if something just doesn't feel right. Exactly. All right. Thanks so much for being at this, Doc. For more information about oral health symptoms and prevention, visit our website and click on the Wisconsin Tonight tab.